2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates Bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate Saint Scholastica, a woman of prayer. In this celebration of the Mass, we are taught by God's Word that our prayers are heard, not because we have worked for it, but because of God's infinite love and because we believe in that love. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love 
and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. When Solomon was old, his wives had turned his heart to strange gods, and his heart was not entirely with the Lord his God, as the heart of his father David had been. By adoring Astarte, the goddess of the Sidonians, and Milcom, the idol of the Ammonites, Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not follow him unreservedly as his father David had done. Solomon then built a high place to Chemosh, the idol of Moab, and to Molech, the idol of the Ammonites, on the hill opposite Jerusalem. He did the same for all his foreign wives, who burned incense and sacrificed to their gods. The Lord, therefore, became angry with Solomon because his heart was turned away from the Lord, the God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice. For though the Lord had forbidden him this very act of following strange gods, Solomon had not obeyed him. So the Lord said to Solomon, Since this is what you want, and you have not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I enjoined on you, I will deprive you of the kingdom and give it to your servant. I will not do this during your lifetime, however, for the sake of your father David. It is your son whom I will deprive nor will I take away the whole kingdom. I will leave your son one tribe for the sake of my servant David and of Jerusalem, which I have chosen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Blessed are they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Visit us with your saving help. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. But they mingled with the nations and learned their works. They served their idols, which became a snare for them. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons, and the Lord grew angry with his people and abhorred his inheritance. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered the house and wanted no one to know about it, but he could not escape notice. Soon, a woman 
whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him, she came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this, you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our readings today, we are taught about the value of prayer. In our gospel reading today, we see a Greek woman, a Syrophoenician woman, who, even if she was, in the eyes of the people, undeserving of God's grace, still, she approached Jesus. That is why in our gospel reading today, she referred to herself as a dog. I am but a dog waiting for the scraps of the children from the table. She knew she was not Jewish. She was a Syrophoenician. And people looked at her as undeserving of God. And she admitted it. Yes, I am but a dog. I am undeserving. But still, she believed and she approached God, even if she was undeserving. And Jesus heard her prayer. In this story, my dear brothers and sisters, in this action of Jesus, of hearing the prayer of the Syrophoenician woman, Jesus wanted to teach us that our prayers are heard not because we deserve it, but because we believe. Tinuturo po sa atin ng Ebanghelyo ngayong araw na ang ating mga panalangin ay pinakikinggan ng Panginoon. Hindi dahil karapat dapat tayong pakinggan, kundi dahil naniniwala tayo sa ating panalangin. The woman a Greek and Syrophoenician woman may be undeserving in the eyes of the world. But even if she was undeserving, she believed. And God hears us, not because we deserve it, but because we believe. In our first reading today, from the first book of Kings, we see the great King Solomon and his sins. He worshipped the gods of, her, of his wives. Yes, Solomon was undeserving. He was punished by God, in fact. But God said to him, God gave him 
a little ounce of mercy. He said, because of your sin, you will be punished. But it will not you who will suffer. The descendants will bear the punishment. But I will still give your descendants a small portion of the kingdom. I will not totally eradicate your descendants. You will be punished, but still, I will give you my mercy. Solomon was undeserving, but still, God gave him his love and his mercy. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate Saint Scholastica, the twin sister of Saint Benedict. She followed the life of Benedict. And Saint Benedict taught his sister how to pray even in the midst of difficulties, even if you think you are undeserving of God's grace. Benedict taught Scholastica that even in the midst of our difficulties, we pray to God with faith. My dear brothers and sisters, the next time you pray to God, do not feel helpless and depressed because you think yourself as undeserving. The next time you pray to God, do not prove to God that you deserve to be heard. My dear brothers and sisters, even if we are undeserving, we go to Jesus and just believe. Amen. Please stand. Jesus Christ tore down the barrier separating Jews from Gentiles as one people of one new and eternal covenant. Let us pray to the God who unites us. For every petition, let us say, Lord of all nations, hear us. Lord of all nations, hear us that the church throughout the world may become a channel of God's mercy, peace, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of all nations, nations hear, hear us. us. That as a community of believers, we may not be divided by petty barriers of hatred and prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of all nations, nations hear, hear us. That mothers, who are anxious and deeply worried about their children's health, may never fail to turn to Jesus for support and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of all nations, hear us. That the sick and the dying may be comforted by the Father of love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of all nations, hear us that those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of all, all nations, nations, hear us. We pray for all who are sick, especially those who are afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of all nations, nations hear, hear us. Almighty God, our refuge and our strength, your wish is to unite all people. May we always be sensitive to the needs of others and never exclude anyone from our company. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin, Blessed Scholastica, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Scholastica, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fleeting world, so that following the example of blessed Scholastica, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
nanihisay na kila. Maria, ina ng awa.